Hello all. So let's continue in the next part of this tutorial. As you can see over here, we have done with the texturing part over here. So let's continue with the lighting part over here. So let's start up. For this, we can utilize the V-ray light over here. So we can use the V-ray light. So for that, we can go into the lights and let's take a V-ray light. So let's take a V-ray light over here. Let's go into this and you can make it as a spear and you can target it at the bottom of it. So you can easily push this light up over here. So wherever your beam is, from where the light is going to illuminate, you can just set that over there accordingly. So I think uh, we can just push this light till here and you can go into this light, select the light and you can reduce its multiplier and let's change the color for the light click ok go to the top view and just duplicate it Just drag it so if you keep it as instance that would be much better so you can uh, change any of the intensities so it is directly going to affect all so I'm just taking it as an instance over here copy this that's it all right so as we have uh, placed this light so we don't need a shadow over here so you can easily off the shadow so you can go into this so that's your target and off this cast shadows and let me take one more V-ray light which is going to illuminate uh, the scene so let's give it as a plane sorry off the target So you can increase its length and width from here. And you can increase its intensity and you can give a bit of a cast shadow. You can increase its intensity from here. And let's go into rendering and let's render it. So select this light, very first of all go into this dome and there is option that's your invisible double sided and let's render it. So as you can see we have just rendered this part in this way. So the next thing let's go into rendering, let's go into render setup. 
let's go into this V-Ray and let's set the V-Ray that's your filter as Catmull room adaptive subdivisions you can increase the subdivision levels you can go into this and you can increase it to the advanced environment GI environment reflection refraction go into color mapping let's set to exponential over here go into GI and your primary would be your riddance map and your secondary that's a light bounce that's your light cache secondary engine let's set to medium 150 that's your subdivision level and let's set to 50 and let's render it that's it So you can just increase the size of this stuff over here. You can press 8. If you're going to use the HDRI, VR HDRI, you can use it, or you just need to give a color. You can just give the color also. That's fine. Let's render it. Let's check the rendering stuff. Yeah, looks better. So we have used the V-Ray Dome Okay, so let it get rendered up. So you can also use the IES lights over here. So it's an option, you can utilize that lights also, or you can just use the V-ray lights. Alright. We are rendering a bit in a full HD, so it's taking a bit time. 